Welcome back to Ask Allison. Here is today's question. I don't want to overdefine my ideal client, but I know I need to hone in and hone in only my ideal client. Can you please advise? So first I'd like to thank Therapy Notes for sponsoring us. Don't worry about overdefining your ideal client. Like mine's name is Marjorie. I know what mine orders for brunch and what sales racks she shops. Um, we have an ideal client exercise in the Know Your Niche course that helps you get super clear on your ideal client so that marketing is easier. It doesn't mean you don't take on other clients. Um, it means that that ideal client directs all your marketing. I would absolutely hate being a therapist if I only saw the same presenting concern all the time. Um, so niching doesn't mean that you close your doors to other clients unless you want to. Your ideal client is simply a vetting system for your marketing assets. That's it. So when you're using social media, for instance, I can say, does Marjorie give a crap about this thing I'm about to post? Um, how does it impact the anxious thoughts that she can't stop when she gets up to pee in the middle of the night? Um, does this even factor into those thoughts? Is this the thing that she thinks to herself but doesn't think she can say aloud to her partner? Does it make her think about herself or her situation differently. Um, it doesn't mean that people who relate to Marjorie, the kinds of people who would be friends with Marjorie if they knew her, um, it doesn't mean that those people with, who might not have the exact same problem will find another therapist. Um, they'll still come to you if they hear good things about you. Um, so if they're referred by someone who values your work, um, you'll likely work well together. So sometimes we describe something our ideal client feels, and it totally resonates with someone with a different demographic makeup but the same problem or an adjacent problem. Um, so for instance, we talk about eating disorders in my group practice, we're an eating disorder group practice, um, but we tend to have a lot of clients without eating disorders who have high functioning anxiety and perfectionistic thinking. And we love working with them too, so we always bring them in. Um, but I think that people get so rigid around the ideal client concept from a like systems perspective within their business instead of from a marketing perspective that you can bring in who you want to bring in. Like that's part of why I love those 15 minute phone calls or letting people know um, those being like a consult call to get to know the client a little bit better so that we know whether or not they're going to be a good fit, you know, first pass, whether or not they're going to be a good fit we see later down the road sometimes. Um, we talk about this a good bit over in the Abundance Party if you need further support. Um, we have courses for everything you need to know to build a successful practice for only $49 a month over at AbundanceParty.com. If you have a question for Ask Allison, please shoot me a DM over on Instagram. I would love to help out.